There's a lot of talk out there as to the health of plant-based diets. Now, of course, eating a healthy diet is one thing, but when you're trying to find alternatives for some animal-based foods, there could be a problem, in my opinion, as to how healthy they actually are. Now, a great example is this one study that found that human cells, or so our human metabolism, actually don't ingest or absorb as much protein from a plant-based so-called meat as compared to an actual chicken. So it's one thing to be eating this as part of your diet and maybe you're looking for alternatives to an animal-based diet. However, some of these plant-based products that are supposed to taste and look like, you know, regular animal burger patties and things as an example may not be that healthy. Now, one of these examples, of course, is the plant-based burger and one of the big popular brands out there. I'm just going to break down some of these ingredients for you in that burger patty that is plant-based and and with compromising ingredients. So a big thing is pea protein. And for people who know that they have an allergy to legumes like peanuts may actually have an issue with these plant-based burgers because they have the pea protein. And that goes, and that same story is true for you know a pea protein found in protein bars and other plant-based sort of protein powders. So you have to be careful of that. Canola oil is another thing found in these plant-based burgers, which of course is a seed oil, can be very inflammatory not so great for your artery health as well as mung beans which can also be if you you know have allergic tendencies to the legumes is a bean product as well sugar can also be found in here as well as maltodextrin which is going to really spike your blood glucose levels and is very high on the glycemic index and is hidden in these plant-based burgers as well as synthetic vitamins. And you know, if you've seen any of my content before, you know that I'm very much against taking synthetic vitamins. They're basically cooked up in the lab and it's something that we have to be aware of. So for an example, in the popular plant-based burgers, they've got things like niacin, which is synthetic vitamin B3. Pyridoxine hydrochloride, which is synthetic vitamin B6, can actually cause a B6 toxicity syndrome happening in your body just from having too much of the synthetic form of vitamin B6. Thiamine hydrochloride, synthetic vitamin B1, riboflavin, synthetic vitamin B2, folic acid, and cyanocobalamin. Now, if you've got methylation problems, you know that folic acid is synthetic, it's not healthy for you, and that cyanocobalamin. So this is synthetic vitamin B12, it's got cyanide in it. So again, it's something that if you didn't know, you didn't know, but now that you know better, you may make some healthier choices, especially if you're trying to clean up your diet and yes, be plant-based, but maybe choose some actual plants and eat those as part of a plant-based diet and always making sure that you're getting enough good absorbable protein. Now for more healthy foods that are actually unhealthy, I want you to check out my other video, five healthy foods that are actually unhealthy. I'll see you there.